All right, so today we're gonna be doing something a little different. I am filming myself and then I am screen recording my phone because I'm gonna be using the PSA app to review and reveal my grades for my recent PSA submission. So I've never done this before. I haven't ever used the PSA app. I've used the set registry app, which is just like your collection, but they have um, the actual order on here. And so we're gonna take a look you can see here at the bottom, it shows your items have been graded reveal. So we're gonna tap that and see what happens. I've never used this. I don't know if it's gonna be a good experience, but figured we'd kind of check it out and see if we can experience revealing the grades without actually physically having the card yet. So this order just finished. Um, I think it took a little over a month. It's 32 items. These are all cards that I picked up in a big collection buy. So some really cool stuff in here. So we're gonna go ahead and see what happens. Reveal. All right, swipe to reveal, F flip your card to reveal the grade. All right, so first one it looks like might be, all right, tap to go forward or back. All right, so so it's got the scans, which is really cool. So this is the back scan. Um, can't zoom in or anything. So this is the PSA 10, or PSA 10, I wish. Uh, this is the uh, Mewtwo Hollow Shadowless. Very good EX4, not surprising. A lot of these had a ton of wear, so. Okay, so there's the PSA 4. Okay, that's, so that's cool. So we'll know what card it is, and then we can reveal the grade, so we can at least understand uh, what card's coming up. This one has a ton of, look at, look at the grime on the back. Uh, so this is the Alakazam. EX5, this actually got a higher grade than the Mewtwo. That's kind of surprising, but still pretty awesome. A PSA 5 Shadowless. These are the like the first hollow Shadowless cards I've ever owned and they all came in a, a, a collection, so. All right, so PSA 5, Shadowless Alakazam. Charizard, so this is probably one of the biggest ones in the submission, my first ever Shadowless Charizard. Never owned one before. So if the Alakazam got a five and the Mewtwo got a four, I think this might get a six. Oh, a five, okay, not surprising. There are, you can actually see there's a pretty significant scratch uh, right across the uh, the front of the hollow. I wish I could zoom in. I wonder if I can. No, I can't click or anything to get to get closer to it. So, anyway, there is the PSA five Shadowless Charizard. Awesome. EX Dragon Golem Reverse Foil. Near mint to mint eight. Awesome. Reverse foils can be pretty tough to grade just because it's got so much foil pattern all along it. It doesn't look that good in the scan, and PSA doesn't, <laughs> their scans kind of suck. Um, but uh, there's the Near Mint to Mint 8 Dragon uh, EX Golem Reverse Foil. Next we've got the Gengar Expedition Reverse Foil. So another Reverse Foil. Near Mint to Mint 8. Very nice. So if you haven't seen it, I, I did post a video. It actually might have been the last video I posted, which was me getting uh, this submission pulled together, buying the collection, and uh, looking at, at the cards that I had pulled out to grade. Um, and uh, all of them looked pretty good, but again, this was a collection I had picked up just from someone who'd had it in their closet for a while. No sleeves or anything. Some cards were in binders, some cards were just loose sitting around. And I went through all that and, and picked these out, but uh, not surprising that we, we haven't got any 10s yet at least. So Expedition Clefable Hollow, near mint to mint eight. So I think the eights, they make a lot of sense. Again, whenever you find kind of these collections that have just been sitting in people's closets, may or may not have been in binders or sleeves or anything like that. Uh, pretty rare to find some some Jim Mint cards. So near mint to mint eight Clefable. All right, Expedition Mew. This one looked really nice. You can see that there is some whitening at the top right corner. I think on the, the left two corners as well, there's just a little bit of whitening. If I can get it to spin. Near mint to mint eight. I was really hoping for a nine on this one. I thought it had a chance, um, but still very, very awesome. This card is absolutely gorgeous. Really great Mew art uh, and really cool to have. Mewtwo Expedition Hollow. You can definitely see some whitening on both the right corners, top right and bottom right. Near mint to mint eight. I'm, f I'm sensing a theme. Uh, a lot of A lot of eights so far. Um, hopefully we can tweak out a nine or a 10 somewhere in this submission, but there's the Mewtwo really, really awesome card. 
Expedition Alakazam. I think I sent two of these. We got a Mint 9. Very nice. Very, very nice. So we've got the Alakazam Mint 9 from Expedition. Here's the second copy. Near Mint to Mint 8. So we've got an 8 and a 9, but we got our first 9, which is really, really cool. So, awesome. All right. Rocket Dark Alakazam, first edition. Near Mint to Mint 8. Shocker, right? Very, very cool. We've got Sabrina's Gengar, and I think I think I sent two of these in English and in Japanese. Near Mint 7. All right. And another one. Near Mint 7, so they both got the same grade. All right, maybe the Japanese ones will do better. Got the Dark Blastoise first edition. EX Mint 6. Hmm, that stinks. The back actually looks pretty good. I mean, there's not really much whitening that I can see. Um, it might be dented. That will drop it to a six, but first edition Dark Blastoise. We've got a regular unlimited base set Blastoise. A lot of whitening on the edges. EX5. Not surprising. And I remember there was a scuff. You can kind of see it in the bottom left corner there. A bit of it had chipped off from the paint, so the foil was showing. We've got Dark Dragonite. <laughs> Excellent five. Some of them might have might might be in a little worse shape than I was anticipating, but uh, again, not much to be expected when you kind of just get these collections and pull out cards that look okay. We've got Venusaur. <laughs> Excellent five. Hmm, I wonder if these might have all been somewhat damaged or at least uh, dented. Uh, they might have been in a binder. I can't remember. Another Venusaur. This one got a near mint 7 at least. A bit better than a 5. We've got Dark Slowbro, first edition. Near mint to mint 8. All right. We've got, so this is the Japanese uh, Ancient Mew. Um, so not the English version. And it's the Mewtwo, so there were a couple different versions of this card, and this is, I think, the second iteration. So it's it's labeled as Ancient Mew number two. Near Mint to Mint 8. Still, the hollow looks really, really awesome on these. I love these promos. All right, Blaine's Arcanine. Mint 9, very nice. Very, very nice. We've got Blaine's Moltres. Near Mint to Mint 8. I can't tell if that's a scratch all the way down the middle there. Uh, but a pretty awesome uh, swirl there that you can see. Oh, I just realized I, I haven't been paying attention to not the card. But above the card, it showed the grade. I just noticed that. All right, so Sabrina's Alakazam Hollow. PSA 9. Very nice. Sabrina's Gengar. Okay, so there should be two Japanese Sabrina's Gengars. PSA 9. Awesome. I actually have this card in a 10, which is really cool. And the other one. PSA 5. <laughs> oh, man. That must be creased or something. That's bad. Yikes. And we've got a Mewtwo. PSA 8. Awesome. The Japanese base set. We've got the promo Ente reverse foil. PSA 10. All right. I actually don't have this card. Um, so that's really cool. It's got a really awesome swirl there at the bottom middle. Wow. A PSA 10 reverse foil. That is really, really cool to see. Maybe our next one will, because this is the, uh, the Charizard reverse foil. PSA 8. Bummer. That's all right, though. Not much you can do. I actually pulled both of these out of the... They were in, like, the, the Neo promo file. Um, so. All right. The Meganium Hollow Premium file. PSA 8. Bummer. We've got the Typhlosion. PSA 9. The Feraligator. 
PSA 9. And last but not least, I believe is the Reverse Foil Pichu. This is our last one of the submission. PSA 9. So we only got a single 10, uh, which is that Reverse Foil Entei. But got some 9s, got a couple of good grades. All in all, I, I, maybe uh, I would have been happy with a few less 5s. But uh, again, pulled all these out of us of a collection. You never know what you're going to get in these, especially when it comes to whether there's dents, whether there's creases. And I looked over them somewhat, but nothing like too crazy looking for stuff like that. I just figured I'd send them all off and it was $15 a card, so it wasn't too, too expensive. But anyway, that's what I have for you today. If you like this style of re return, let me know. I figured I'd, I'd give it a shot because I'd heard about this reveal feature on the PSA app. Kind of cool to be able to do a video and reveal the grades without having the cards yet. So as soon as the grades were available, I'm able to post a video or at least make a video and and uh, reveal the grades. So I'm going to see if I can stitch all this together. I've got my audio being recorded on the computer. I've got my phone screen recording the reveals. And then I have another phone actually filming me. If you like this video, go ahead and smash that like button. It really helps me out. If you, uh, if you like this sort of content, go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can get notified when I post new videos, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.